Well, uh, when I, I studied the Bible in the seminary and they had a particular path and approach and it was very Catholic. Uh, I was the guy that was usually getting into trouble raising my hand and asking questions that nobody really wanted to answer. I grew up as a child thinking these men knew what they were talking about and I had a built-in respect for them because my parents respected them but the answers were unsatisfactory. Uh, there was more and again that takes me back to the fact that something was missing when I really started waking up uh, to what was going on, I said I was herding sheep. I was actually checking sheep one night, went out in the dark, uh, it's lambing time, and you go up and you listen for what's going on. You, you don't necessarily shine a light because it disturbs the sheep. So you listen and you can tell who's in labor by the sounds that they make. They, they're telling you different things if you pay attention. On the way back down, I was feeling this, I'm missing something. And I just knelt down on the ground in the desert and said, okay, God, whatever I'm missing, I can't figure it out. I think that's an important concept. When you admit you can't figure it out, God will tell you. If you think you can figure it out, he doesn't tell you. And when I did that, the next day, law books showed up on my doorstep. Uh, I just opened them up, Black's Dictionary, started discovering I didn't know the meaning of words. I thought I knew them, I was fairly well educated, uh, but I didn't. So now I went back and looked at the Bible anew, with a new attitude. And when I would open a book or a passage, I would just read it and I would say, there's something more there. And I would research the Hebrew and the Greek. And uh, the problem, uh, that a lot of people don't realize is that when we went to look at the Old Testament we asked the Pharisees what it meant and the Pharisees got it wrong the largest religious group at the time of Jesus Christ the most respected by both Roman and Jews alike had a completely different interpretation of the same Torah that the Pharisees had they read the same Hebrew words but they came to a completely different conclusion than what you saw the Pharisees doing. And that is the key to understanding the New Testament because the Old and New Testament are testaments of the same thing. They're telling us the same thing. That Moses is seen with Jesus, with the apostles, in agreement because they were both preaching the same thing. But if you look at what the Pharisees were doing and you believe that that's what Moses said, then you will have confusion. You will not know the God of the Old Testament because you will look at it through the eyes of the Pharisees. It's still in the original text and that's what we go through in one of the books in Thy Kingdom Come and a new book we have coming out showing you what that Hebrew really meant. And that's a, again a bold statement. But there are 700, 800, 900 footnotes in these books. You can look it up yourself and if we're wrong, show us.